YouTube, what's up? We're going to look at cars. Well, vans. We're going to look at vans today. Well, I got the 143rd scale stuff kind of together. We're going to look at vans today. Some of my favorite vehicles, really. They're fun to collect. They can come with a lot of different liveries. Here in North America, especially, really had the big three participating in full-size vans for the most part. Now we have the international vans here uh, that are kind of world platforms. But these type of vehicles, really from the 70s on to the 2000s, all the same. They just had different grills. <laughs> I mean, really. But we're going to look at Chrysler products. They're, they're pretty cool. Dodge being my favorite. Ran for about 32 years. 1970 as a 1971 model. All the way to 2003. Basically the same vehicle. Some updates, but not much. Let's take a look. First, I got three municipal and emergency service vehicles we're going to look at. And then we'll get to, I got some postal office stuff. And the brand new, recently released P30 Chevrolet Grumman Step Van in 143rd. We've seen it in 164 scale. Let's take a look at the boxes real quick. Gotta knock some dust off these. Okay. Well, first, of course, I had to get NYPD. So we got that. And it's a 87 Ram B250. Um, all the way up to about 90 something can't remember when they basically had this buy style and then uh then they redid it with an extended front end they actually moved the engine slightly forward so it was the first big redesign really forever and it made the little engine cover inside the van's cabin where you see those short hoods on these vans they were able to move that forward so you got a little bit more leg room but yeah, this is the NYPD van. This is kind of popular. These vans, the the way they're detailed and their just their detail and their scale, it's really good. One forty third scale, very very uh, collectible scale. It's been around for a long time. You know, before one sixty four scale really was able to be molded in high detail, really really high detail inexpensively like it is today relatively inexpensive 143rd was it you know you can get the high detail and save a little bit of space from the 118 which is the traditional scales the bigger scales the 125th stuff you know if you're a model maker that takes up a little bit more space so 143rd scale can be a good median i kind of like the size i've gotten used to it but i only get it on subject material that i like a lot and this is one of them so this is just very accurate a little bit of funniness when they painted the black here. It's a little bit either it's not on these wheels. On the ones from the 80s, they didn't really have a black relief here. Uh or or it was a little bit more pronounced on the older hubcap. But other than that, I mean it's great. The tires aren't too thick, they're not too narrow, they're not too tall. So I like the tires a lot. Green light really does 143rd scale really well. This van had a mirror that was busted off, so Unfortunately, this piece right here is real thin, and that's where it broke. It's the only one that broke. I have the piece. I just haven't been able to really set it up where basically you got to put the van on its side and let gravity hold it there for a little bit while it cures, but you got to build a little area here where it kind of can be supported. So I haven't just <laughs> did all that yet. Separate wipers, separate grill, separate headlights, separate signal bulbs, bumpers. Everything is all separate plastic detail it's a nice thickly cast die cast let's see if we can get the camera down a little bit real quick let's see i'll we'll take a zoom so since the ba van's ba uh, base coat's white they're gonna have a lot of thick paint kind of disappearing some of the nice casting material like the cow uh here windshield cow you know there's 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 the vents there, but they're kind of blocked up. Tears done really well. That dashboard and that that little uh, cover for the engine, you know, that really was from. They really never redesigned that. Then they put different steering wheels in and stuff, but that dash, that basic design, stayed the same way pretty much. I mean, there was a little bit of an update. The second gen that kind of came out. Um, 
end of the 70s, I think 78, 79, from the first gen. It had the round headlights. And basically, they used these taillights. They were just uh, laid down horizontally instead of vertically. <laughs> very, very cheap updates. Basically, all the sheet metal, the door frame, everything was basically the same. And they also brought up a good point when I was looking at this. A lot of these vans, when they extended them, they would do like a 15-passenger version. They would just extend the exterior here, call them maxi vans, things like that. But they, this, this wheelbase didn't change. Now, GM, this wheelbase would change, and they would leave the short end on the back. But Ford and, and uh, Chrysler, they decided to just do the back. Now, nowadays, when they switch to the European vans, the Ford Transit, the... The uh, Ram Pro Master, which is based off a of Fiat, they would basically correspond the wheelbase and the rest of the van, like the roof and everything, to fit. So it was a little bit more balanced design. Back then, they just kind of slapped on a back. <laughs> the other thing about this van was kind of interesting was it was a box unit construction. It's kind of like the Jeep Cherokee XJ frame, just on a bigger scale. It was not kind of like on a Dodge Ram pickup truck, although it shared components, you know, with running gear. The chassis was built into the frame, uh, or vice versa. The, the the frame was built into the body, sorry. And it would take all the Chrysler motors that they could throw it at, slant six, and then the small block V8s. And they had big blocks up until about 1980, 1970-something, where a 400 and a 440 were available up to about 78. Basically, when that Monaco car, and you know, all those cars got discontinued. Going into 79, they kind of downsized stuff into the 360 being the big engine. When this car came out, or this van body style, 87, the big engine was the 5.9. You can get that all the way up to a one-ton version. Uh, I wasn't aware of North America any diesel versions, so no, no Cummins or anything was on these cars. And the 360, the 5.9 Magnum, stayed available all the way to 2003. Three- and four-speed automatic, also in the mid 70s up until the, the mid 80s or early 80s a three speed and a four speed and a five speed stick shift i guess was in the nomenclature so you can get that too i've seen vans with that the stick actually is, is back here almost kind of where the seat ends and then they have a dog leg kind of thing so the transmission is kind of farther back on these so it was a kind of a funny setup seeing that it's very rare but it was out there so this is in the NYPD livery. It's got their great Dodge Ram hubcaps. Good exhaust system that's separate. We have the accurate light bar that NYPD used back then. So we got the red in the front, amber in the rack. So that looks good. No other lighting here. They didn't put license plates on their vehicles. Typically they'd have the unit number there, stuff like that. So, and running boards, they look pretty good too. Plastic base, very, very soft rubber tires, rolls good. That's what I like about these vans. All right, let's move on to another New York staple. This is FDNY, New York City Fire Department, in this really cool livery. The classic 70s, 80s livery in FDNY. Simple red truck, smaller badge, smaller lettering, simple lighting. Nothing not you know crazy like it is today. And this is a 1983. Still had the circle headlight, but they were transitioning to the square. <coughs> Look at this box. So 83 Dodge Ram van. B-series vans. We got this cool background there. Older school uh, badge. I don't think they run that badge anymore. Or that way that's set up and there's our barcode a lot of these vans are still in inventory they might have been out a year or two already you know we are finally starting to get to them unfortunately <laughs> it took a while but i like to show the smaller cars but i have these sizes too and they're worth mentioning you know subject material that's pretty cool so we already looked at the body on the other one looks like i got a chip there i didn't even notice let's see yeah these don't really get run around or on the layout or too much. They stay on the shelf and stuff. They come with acrylic uh, cases, you know, when you buy them. Typical retail on these cars, I've seen all the way down to almost $10 if they've been at a store that wants to get rid of them online. But you expect to pay more like $14 to $20 a piece, depending on how rare it is. I don't know if these are still out there. They could be, but... 
This van is coming really cool liveries. They also have a street van that I haven't gotten yet. It's black with a silver, and then it's got some uh, color striping in the middle. So that's an 80 van, too. It's got the circle headlight grill. A little bit of a overspray there in the middle, but not too bad. Other than that, it's got the cool, it's got the license plate with the fire department badge. It's got the separate marker lights on the side. It's got the Ram 350 badge. So, looks like one ton van. I wonder if this was a 350. Let's see. Yep. I just love it. I think these are cool. It's supposed to be a high-rise unit, so they'd have special equipment, of course. White painted bumpers. I like that. Makes it very commercial feeling. Really, really like these vans. They roll so nicely, even though they got the plastic base. It's okay. They are serialized. You can see the separate uh, exhaust system there. These are <laughs> these mirrors are no fun. They're not like Mini GT. You gotta be careful with them. Even if you have them on a shelf with a tight tight clearance, you don't want to push them against the the back there too hard, or you're, you'll definitely smush them. So there's our running board there too. Good looking low profile unit. So highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. All right, one more uh, early Ram van. This is uh, State Police 1980 B250. Look at that bad boy. So there's our downtown Circle City. Older school picture of it. And then you got your ISP badge. And some skyline of uh, the Capitol. There's a Capitol right there. On my, I believe that's Market Street. So yeah. So ISP van, sport van, something like that. Maybe a prisoner van, who knows. But this is pretty sweet. Again, painted bumpers. It's got the old school spear that they used to run. They got something similar now, but it's a little bit different. Same color scheme, blue stripe with the white car. And you see the script has gone to the 80s style. So that was kind of like the 70s into the early 80s that you were still using the older style script. They went to this uh, as a Ram, I think, 81, 82. They had, like, names for the van still, like Prospector or whatever, Tradesman, things like that. So they stopped using that kind of stuff and kind of just did Ram. And then they did the call-out, like the pickups, where it was... Uh, 150, 250, 350 on the B series, which was the chassis designation. But pretty cool. Let's back it up a little bit. So solid red light bar, old school light bar, circle headlights, chrome grill with the white bumper. Sometimes there was, I guess it was sometimes metal, stainless, whatever, aluminum, something like that. But it was definitely a lot of plastic. This is chromed out, but I don't know if it was really that shiny. I can't remember. Don't remember if it was. Didn't look at a recent picture. These vans, you know, of course they worked, so they really didn't get too much love. They're out there, though, in nice conditions sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky with the old camper vans and stuff like that, or the conversion vans, because they would get used just for trips um, if you were lucky enough. So they seem to be in good shape more than the commercial style like this. Uh, the other part of that, you know, the unit construction we talked about was it boasted the lowest load floor. You could see the drop down there. They didn't have so much uh, chassis in the way, as you'd say, you know, body on frame type vehicle pretty cool all right now let's get to some more modern stuff now that we've looked at these dodges they're pretty cool you know after that uh it was uh daimler chrysler after 03 where that stretch nose version came out and then they decided to discontinue this vehicle and basically bring in the mercedes-benz sprinter van and then when Fiat bought them, they just went to the Fiat product. So basically what we're going to look at right now. <laughs> so here we go. This is a recent release, sort of. 
This is a uh, Pro Master van in USPS livery. It's an 18 Pro Master 2500. Now these are very common. You'll see these in the parked in that back lot post office. Hopefully these cars bring us our cars a lot. These vans. I'm sure our packages have ridden in one of these recently. This has some really good detail, just like their 164 scale version. I have really not a lot of complaints about this. I do, I do need to take it apart. It is a screw base, so that's good. It's got that typical grease in there on the inside on that windshield, so we'll have to remove that. But clean markings, good detail with the tampo work, I'd say. Typical green light there. High quality for a 143rd scale vehicle. It's not really lacking in any area of detail of course there's no opening parts on 143rd but they have a lot of detail look at the tail light and the where the hinge assembly is here this looks good you know nice and they didn't paint over that that is kind of white a lot of times when the van comes out this is plastic cladding it's got that little step bumper and we can see here so maybe they have an all-wheel drive version. I can't remember. I, I know that these are basically front-wheel drive vehicles. So, but I think they might have an all-wheel drive. I don't know if the USPS uses that, but typically just the front is driven. Even though they show an axle on this one, which they do actually on the 164 scale. Good soft rubber tires. They seem to use really nice, high-quality rubber slash vinyl, whatever it is. Very soft, pliable. It's too bad they can't use that material all the time for the 164 scale. It seems to come out of the mold better and more true to round. Separate mirrors. These, I think, are molded into the windshield, though, believe it or not. It's windshield wipers. This van's been around in this body style for a long time, so not much, too much to talk about. I think here in North America, they just kind of updated the grill a little bit maybe the radio things like that and sending it on its way but uh yeah it offers a lot of space rolls very good but the one i was very excited to get and show we'll round out the video with that is this really cool thing this is a grumman olsen chevrolet p30 step van so the green light packaging had to grow a little bit on this one Look at that. Take a screenshot of that. That's kind of cool. This did, they did a good job on this truck, I must say. I really like it. Now, the, the uh, 164 scale, the only problem I had with it was the fact that, uh, well, the rims and tires and the front axle was too far back. <laughs> did look good. But this one. This one doesn't have any of those issues, so let's back this up here. I love this thing. This is cool. Now, a lot of these USPS trucks, they're on a long wheelbase like this one. They're kind of shorter, they seem to be, with a single rear wheel. But this one's kind of the traditional, like, old chip truck, which they've, I guess they've used this longer style. There's an NYPD one of this, too, that I'll probably get. I think it's a Highway Patrol version. I don't know if it's a SWAT. It might be a tactical vehicle. I can't remember. So we'll buy that too, but I had to add them to postal service trucks. Actually, I got all of the, almost all of the 164 scale versions of them. And I probably have, well, 60 to 70 percent of the stuff they released. I don't know everything, but a lot of it was duplicate. I love it. No opening features, but it's such a soft, nice rubber tires. It's a sequential serials number. This is a 1211. And, uh, you know, medium-duty truck, heavy-duty truck chassis, kind of. It's like, uh, but they'll use the, like, this type of stuff from, like, the the C30 trucks, like that kind of thing. Like, these wheels look like that. Maybe a little bit heavier. And uh, aluminum, right? So you can have this huge body but not be so heavy. And you can have all that interior space to haul stuff. Classic design. I mean, really, it came out in the 60s, 70s. 
you know, they updated it slightly, but it really looked like this forever. What a cool truck. They used that iridescent paint, so that silverish paint, and then they'll put a color over it, so that looks kind of like a a little light in there. And you got your clearance lights. Now, the back, they painted orange, too, so I'm probably going to paint those red. I have red translucent paint, so we'll go ahead and do that. Tail lights are fine, just the clearance lights are orange, so we'll, we'll get that handled. I love those soft tires. Look how nice they look. Good tread. So, very happy. Bumper is extremely low. <laughs> look how low that is. They barely have any uh, departure angle on that. Is it really super that low? I don't know. I gotta look at one. I don't believe they're that low. Now, this distance looks good. You know, that all looks pretty good. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll have to do a little research before I play with this one. But it's a cool truck and it runs very nicely and smoothly. So, very excited about this one. Yeah, so, I don't know. These aren't uh, super exotic cars or anything like that. But but for me, for my collection, these, these, uh, these do great. I really do like these kind of vehicles. So, they're kind of in their respective areas. You know, I got an NYPD area kind of starting and FDNY, etc., USPS, and... And then my other random state police things. So these are kind of good with the smaller vehicles. They kind of look cool. So I'm leaving it like that then. It's until I get more 143rd sale vehicles. And we got some cars. I got the Mustang 2s, which are kind of not everybody's favorite. And 143rd, I got the Lincoln Continental. And I think I got a couple other random ones we could throw in there at some other point. But... Next video, we're going to bet back to 164 scale, then maybe we'll do a 118 scale coming up, but, uh, you know, only time will tell. Hope you enjoyed it, a uh, little short one, kind of, just to kind of look at something different, and uh, we'll get back to 164 scale soon, so, thanks for watching, and uh, love all the new subscriptions and comments, I really appreciate it, hope everybody enjoys the vehicles that we look at and talk about, more to come. <clears throat> Till next time.